What's up, YouTube fam, man? I'm back again with another video. Look, man, somebody sent me this video like a week and a half, damn near two weeks ago, man. I'm just now seeing it today. If y'all sending me stuff and I'm not seeing it, as soon as you send it to me, sometimes send it to me two or three times so I can get it, man, because a lot of people be sending me stuff and I be missing out on a lot of videos due to the fact that people be messaging me all the time. But yeah. anyways, man, the title of the video says that she got caught cheating and she kicked him out. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and watch this. I'm going to tell you what I feel about it during the video and after the video. So if you don't want to be talking at any point in time during this video, that's on my channel. Just get up off my channel. Go find it somewhere so if you can find it. If you can't find it, that's on you. I really don't give a damn about you. No way. But to all my loyal supporters and my new supporters, y'all already know I'm not talking to y'all when I say that. All I want y'all to do is hit the like button for me and tell me what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. And make sure I add out my social medias as well. My Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Everything will be in the comment section if you want to add any of that. If you don't want to add none of that, I'm not doing no tripping. Oh, yeah, add my second YouTube channel too. It's called Call of king too just if y'all want to add that also if you don't want to add that i'm not doing no tripping on it also but let's get into this whole situation and see what the hell going on you said i got like, like like this shit long man she got a whole nother i ain't even this fucking size bro i look how big these clothes and this ain't this ain't my shit bro like why the fuck? like come on well, what the fuck i do to deserve that shit though what i'm saying i don't want that shit you can keep it get out you make it i'm not going i ain't going no <laughs> I, pay, I pay the fucking bills in this house get out. i don't want to know why why? Like, why the fuck would you? Why? why? Like, I, all I do is go to work. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not fucking leaving. I'm not fucking going to tell my door somewhere. Man, she got me fucked up, man. I gotta get my shit out this motherfucker first time I get out. Man, no fucking get out. My fucking shit. What you need to look at her, y'all? Look. She's wanna kick it out now that she caught. So she's talking about get out. Look at her. She's just on the phone like she don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I don't. She, hey, she, she took the words out of my mouth. She don't. She done got her a fresh nut. She don't give a damn about nothing cuz talking about it. seemed like he done came home early or something, huh? Like he been at work and came home and seen the shit in the middle of the floor or something like that. But anyway it goes, she don't give a damn. He over there acting a the fool because, I mean, I understand that you over somebody else has paying bills and shit like that. And they tell you to leave and you feel like you don't need to or you don't want to. But at the same time, man, you got to understand when somebody don't want you there, get your ass on somewhere, man. Real shit. Don't nobody want to sit there and go through shit that they don't want to go through, especially in this in their house. You feel me? But yeah, man, she just got her fresh nut. She don't give a fuck about nothing he's talking about. She over there texting cuz right now, the one who just left. <laughs> Let's get back into it, though. Matter, but I'm not finna fucking leave. You think I'm finna leave? You crazy as hell. I'm not, I'm not going nowhere. I feel like I, I feel like I deserve an explanation. Tell me why. Tell me why did you you brought another dude over? That's all I want. Tell me why. She want to fuck some. Why? <laughs> Duh. Look at her, but she ain't even got shit to say. She's sitting up here. This the. Probably still coming over. Ain't no telling what she be telling. Look at her. Look, look. You done? No, I ain't fucking done. Cause you ain't gonna give me no explanation. You done? Damn. But is he helping pay the bills too? So what you gonna do? If I don't pay the bills, how you gonna pay the bills? That's your job. <laughs> no, I ain't done. I want an explanation. That's what I want. I'm not there. How you just gonna? How you gonna get mad? Try to flip it on me and kick me out because I found out that you got some other clothes. Get out. You talking about get out? Are you serious? Shit, yeah, she's know. serious. It don't matter. He went through her shit. What, what's going on? Like, what's, what do you mean I was, I was going through her shit? Like, I was in there looking for my shit and then I found this other this shit. Mm. If you gonna talk to me, can you talk to me? That's all I said. I just want you to talk to me. You went look for some shit and you found it? No, I, Damn. I, 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 you shouldn't talk to me. Like, you for real. You went look for some shit and you found it? No, come on. Hey. Listen, man, my boy done changed his whole tone. He done got nice. He getting sweet. He want explanations and all that shit. If you're really genuinely done with somebody, man, none that they got to say matters. You feel me? You're going to be like, man, fuck you. But she's so nonchalant, man. She coming off that fresh high, that fresh nut. She don't give a fuck about nothing he talking about, man. She going to snap back into her senses a little bit later when she realized she just jeopardized her income. For a nut, you feel me? Sometimes, man, you gotta be able to move smarter if you're gonna go out here and do some extra shit. Now, I'm not condoning it, but if you are gonna do it, make sure you're doing that shit right so you won't mess up your household. You feel me? But yeah, she really don't give a fuck about him, no way. He disposable. She don't give a fuck about nothing because talking about. But yeah, he not even valuing himself enough to get up out of there. Because if you got a whole nother man laying up in this same bed, couch, anything like that, man, I don't wanna be there, bro. Y'all ain't been in here doing all type of shit. I don't know what the hell cuz got going on. Might have lice or something in his head, might be stinking his head, might have fungus growing out his asshole, all type of different shit. I don't wanna be around. None of that. I don't want no other man juices on my shit. If y'all in here doing this other type of shit, I need to get the hell up out of here. But let's get back into it though. Y'all know I gotta stop and holler at y'all during the video. No, you can't talk to me. No, I'm not. Come on, what you trying to? Because that don't make no sense. I'm saying because I wanna know why you do it. He wanna talk it out. What do you cheat? What are you cheating for? She wants the fuck. What? Yeah. What are you cheating for? Like, why you bringing a dude here? 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 Why you bringing a dude and you found it. it don't matter though, no, but you still say so. Why is another man in my in my house? To what I'm saying. When I'm going to work every day to make sure that you good, I come back. It's another man. And you Blake, you just flat out told me that it's another dude been here. You see it. So that's what that's what that's, that's what it is though. That's what it really is. Yeah. That's what it really is. Yeah. 
So you just you just gonna tell me to talk to another dude will be coming over. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Hey. That, that, hey, she already know this dude don't want to go nowhere, man. She been putting that good head on this boy for so long. He over there having flashbacks. He like, damn, if I leave right now, man, she going to be putting it on somebody else. That boy don't want to go nowhere, man. His whole tone, demeanor, how he doing, everything just changed, man. That nigga don't want to get up out of that house, bro. It's too good over there. <laughs> and she over there serving them niggas on that damn futon. <laughs> Giving up that good head. Let's get back into it, though. That's crazy, though. But that, that's, that's what we all what I'm saying. But that's what but I'm saying that's crazy though. Yeah. Like, no, that's all good though, man. Yeah. Just take a look, look at this. Like, what? Yeah, you can go. Just take a good look. Take a good look. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's all good though. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back and get my stuff. So just make sure you have my stuff put up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want none of that. Yeah, yeah. But just make sure you got a way to pay your bills. Okay, make sure you got a way to pay your bills. Because when I'm gone, I'm not paying nothing else. All right, man. It don't even make sense. That's crazy. That's what happened, bro. You trying to make sure somebody good, bro. You trying to take care of somebody to make sure they straight. All the time, they gonna be for holding something else with me. How? I don't mean he f***ing me over here. What the f*** you mean? No, he's coming over here. They f***ing man. See how I mean? Look, that shit crazy, man. Damn, that's the end of the video. Look, man. man, like I always say, I can respect the honest hoe. Hell, I can respect the honest individual. Anybody who keeping it real with you in any type of way, man, go ahead and do that. She probably been deceiving them the whole time. But when they get caught and they can admit to whatever they did wrong, man, you got to respect that. You got to cherish that shit in a certain way. Because they probably saved you from so much shit in the future. You know what I'm saying? But as far as this situation right here, man, I feel like that he should have really just walked up out of there as soon as he seen another man's clothes. Because there's nothing else to talk about. Somebody else been here. You know what I'm saying? I don't be understanding why people want to sit there and argue, cuss everybody out, want to expose you put your messages on the internet and all the extra type of shit when somebody don't want them no more you know what i'm saying like go ahead and let them do what they want to do man you know what i'm saying don't force this shit man go ahead and push forward because i mean if it was meant to be none of this shit would have been happening in the first place you know but as far as him being in there doing all this extra shit recording her and all that man that ain't what's up now i'm not justifying what she did at all but I'm saying this is something where you got to be able to maneuver in these situations, bro. You don't want to sit there and look like a goddamn fool to everybody else. Because people don't be realizing, man, when you expose somebody else, all you're doing is giving them more marketability to the world. You know what I'm saying? You can show somebody else sex tapes and all the extra shit like that, bro. People going to want to hit them up and get some of that. You know what I'm saying? People don't be realizing that shit, man. You just boosting them up, man. For real, for real. People be showing people messages and all that shit, seeing how sweet somebody was to you and all the extra shit. You think somebody going to laugh at them or want to get a part of that, too? You know, somebody going to want to do that shit with you taking for granted but yeah man as far as all this shit right here bro she was out of line for doing this shit man having two or three different niggas come to one house because this shit could have went to a whole nother level somebody could have got killed in the midst of all this bullshit you know what i'm saying money and cat is the main leaders of death out here you know what i'm saying especially in the black community and shit like that bro because i mean i ain't even gonna say the black community because all races will take somebody else out over their wife girlfriend side chick any of that shit bro so you got to be yeah. honest with people and shit like that you don't want to leave nobody else on then they go out here and kill somebody else oh, you lying to them and all that extra shit bro but yeah i feel like man when you going through some shit like this bro realize that you the prize to keep it pushing don't sit there and try to force yourself on nobody else bro if they really don't want to be there with you and they want to go out here and mess with multiple people man let them do that shit bro you know what i'm saying i feel like that any time that you in somebody else's life and they doing something that you don't want them to do man just exit stop trying to change people because some people are stuck in their ways and they won't change you know what i'm saying ain't no point in you out here wasting your life your time your existence trying to make somebody else be how you want them to be because it's already somebody out there tailor-made for you what people be feeling to realize, man, you don't understand that it's your soulmate is out there. All you got to do is stay on your purpose, stay doing what you do, and it's going to gravitate to you. But as far as trying to force somebody and shit like that, man, don't be doing that, bro. All you doing is making yourself look a fool. Because, I mean, shit, if they can't understand that you are valuable, if they don't feel like you hold no value to them in their life, man, what the fuck you doing there anyway? You're going to be misused the whole time. So when you get some type of sign that somebody really don't give a damn, man, move forward, bro. For real, for real. If they can't realize that you're the prize, then what the hell are you sticking around for? All you doing is lowering your value, lowering your self-esteem, lowering everything about yourself. You're not even realizing your own value by sitting there allowing somebody to do some bullshit you don't want them to do. And vice versa. If you want to do something, go ahead and do this shit. You ain't got to sit there and hold back who you really are. Man, shit, go ahead and be who you want to be. You know what I'm saying? If you want to mess with multiple people, let them people know that shit so they'll know what to do and how to move accordingly. But as far as playing games and stuff like that, man, people don't got time for that, bro, because you never know. Somebody might not even want to be with you like that. They probably thinking that they be enforced in a relationship, but they really want to play games too. You know what I'm saying? You never know what somebody going through or what they're thinking about. So yeah, make sure you always putting that out there on front street so somebody can have a good understanding of what they want to do and how they want to maneuver with you in the future but that's all i gotta say about the whole situation man my boy in there just going crazy crying and shit thinking about that good head but sometimes you gotta put that shit to the side and put you first but that's all i gotta say about the whole situation i'll holler at y'all a little bit later on another video though all right